I'm on the train from Toronto to Pickering and I'm about to go on another bike adventure. Join me over the next 10 minutes to see the sights of Ontario's Durham region on this brisk October weekend. I made it to Pickering. So from here, I'm gonna head to Ajax. From Ajax, I'll head north along the Trans-Canada Trail to Uxbridge. And then from Uxbridge, I'm gonna go east towards a small town called Lindsay. And the thing that I'm most looking forward to about this trip is the trail from Uxbridge to Lindsay. It used to be an old rail corridor. The railway has since been taken away and now it's a dedicated bike path. And I've been told the scenery out there is pretty amazing. So I'm keen to check that out. All right, let's go. I began my ride around 8.30 a.m., which was the perfect time to catch the early morning sun shimmering on Lake Ontario. This is the spot where I'm deviating north along the Trans-Canada Trail. I've barely been on the trail for two kilometers and it's already turned gravel. I'm liking it so far. This first part of my ride took me into a park by West Duffins Creek where I came across this. Something doesn't seem right here. According to the map, this is actually the way I have to go. I really didn't think I was going to experience a damaged bridge on my trip today. Jesus Christ. I had no choice but to carry my bike across the gaping hole in between. I made some new friends along the way. I found myself in the Greenwood Conservation Area. The trails and the fall colors here are really beautiful, but I feel like I need to get back onto the road if I wanna make it to Uxbridge in time. So that's where I'm gonna to head to now. This hill you can see behind me was absolutely epic. I literally crashed into a slump when I reached the top. Now I need a snack. The trail gradually became more rural as I headed north along Westney Road. This is actually what I thought it was. Stuffed animals hanging from their necks on a tree. This is creepy as hell. It's about 14 kilometers to go to Uxbridge and I got off to walk for a little bit because my legs were starting to cramp. I gotta say that I really underestimated how challenging this trail would be. There are so many hills, so many ups and downs, but not to worry, I'm confident I'll make it there in the end, just like I have every other bike ride. Just had lunch and a little walk around Uxbridge. It's quite a quaint little town. There's about 47 kilometers to go till I get to Lindsay. Just past Uxbridge, I got my first taste of the 44 kilometer long rail trail, which I absolutely loved. There was a lot of solitude out here. It was super well maintained and the scenery was as spectacular as had been promised. I wish I'd had the foresight to film this, but I just passed the guy riding his bike who had about 10 balloons attached to him, hanging off various parts of his body. It was quite random and ridiculous. According to this map, I need to head right, and Lindsay is probably somewhere up around here. So what I learned just then, back at the signpost, was that the two deviations in the trail are the old railway lines. So the one that I'm on at the moment heads towards Lindsay, and the other trail heads towards Cannington. I encountered a pretty vast range of animals along this trail, as you'll see throughout the rest of the video. The dog I showed you earlier was actually a bit of a grumpy old man, so I'm gonna make the call that these cows were the most pleasant of my beastly confrontations. The cows are slowly starting to trust me. I spent about 20 minutes with them before they wished me farewell. A little further up the trail, I decided to pinch some corn from a farm, but it turned out to be gross and inedible. I'm not too far from Lindsay now, so I thought I'd give some notes on my ride today. So from Pickering to Uxbridge, that was intense. I don't think I'd do that again. There were far too many hills to climb, and I just wasn't physically prepared for that. Uh, but from Uxbridge to Lindsay 
Wow, that was spectacular. Literally 50 kilometers of this dedicated gravel bike path. It reminds me a bit of the Millennium Trail in Prince Edward County. I'd definitely come back here to do this trail again next year. Made it to Lindsay. Checked into the Kent Inn where I'm staying tonight and now I'm gonna go out for at least four beers to recover from that ride. Actually, I had five beers in a flight at the Pie-Eyed Monk Brewery. I took a walk through town and saw this totem pole and this eternal flame and time capsule. The next morning, I had breakfast at Judy's place and dropped by Old Mill Park to see the remains of the old grist mills from the 1800s. But that wasn't before I spent an hour trying to fix a goddamn puncture in my rear tire. That was pretty annoying this morning with the puncture. It must have happened yesterday afternoon as I pulled into Lindsay because I didn't even notice it until I went to leave the hotel this morning. And it was four degrees out there when I was trying to replace the tube. My hands were just about falling off, getting the, uh, the tire off the rim. Anyway, I'm back on the trail now. I've decided today I'm gonna take a slightly different route back. I'm not gonna go to Pickering. Instead, I'm gonna cut the trip short a little bit and go to Oshawa. And along the way, I wanna stop at Port Perry, which is a small town on Lake Scugog. So I'm curious to see what it's like there. Also, it's so much nicer today with the sun out. Even though it was kind of eerie yesterday with the overcast skies and the drizzle, it's really beautiful today. This is such a good trail. Just west of this bridge behind me used to be Mariposa Station, which serviced the nearby town of Mariposa until 1962 when passenger services were terminated. Between 62 and 1980, there were occasional freight services, but they were eventually terminated as well. And then in 1991, the whole train line was abandoned and now we're left with this great bike trail. Yep, that's a chipmunk keeping guard on top of a fence post. I parked here for a snack before I leave the trail and head down the road that takes me to Port Perry. And I noticed that on this concrete bollard where I've parked my bike, there's these little stones with beautiful, inspiring messages on them. So what have we got here? Joy, peace, love. Pure, natural hope. Joy and courage. Joy and vision. Beautiful. I discovered there was a winery along the way, so I've made a detour and gonna go get myself some wine. Here I am at the Applewood Farm Winery. Somehow I've ended up at the only winery in the world, seemingly, that doesn't sell wine. Can you believe it? They only opened up about four weeks ago and they don't yet have the license to sell alcohol, so I've ended up just settling for some apple butter. But the cool thing is they have a corn maze here and I've never been into a corn maze before, so I'm gonna go do that right now. It's surprisingly fun riding my bike through a corn maze. I'm really enjoying this, and I've only found one dead end so far. I'm glad I rode my bike through here. It'd take forever if I was walking. Apparently it's two and a half kilometers. That was a load of fun. The corn maze totally made up for their lack of wine. I'll have to go back once they're able to sell their alcoholic concoctions. Just went up to greet this alpaca here and I got zapped by the electric fence on the way. Ouch. I'd done about 45 kilometers for the day as I pulled into Port Perry, where I was greeted by this colorful row of rock art. Port Perry's been the nicest of the small towns I've cycled through over the past couple of days. I would love to have spent more time here and stopped somewhere to get a beer, but unfortunately it's getting late. It's nearly 4.30 and I want to be back in Oshawa before sunset. I have about two hours to do that and I should just make it in time. Came up to the crest of this hill and finally I can see Lake Ontario off in the distance there. And in the gap between the trees, that's Oshawa, which is where I'm off to now should be there in about an hour and a half. Oshawa isn't well known for its beauty, but I will say that they have a very scenic bike trail that runs along the Oshawa Creek. 
Now it was around this time that my phone battery got very low, so I didn't film any more from here, but I'll leave you with this trippy bonus footage of my camera in my trouser pocket. So that's it for my Pickering at Lindsay Oshawa adventure. It was 180 k's altogether, and I'd highly recommend the trail, but you should probably figure out some other way to get your bike to Uxbridge, because it's too bloody uncomfortable to ride all that way uphill.